Hi and welcome to Peacemag TV. In today's tutorial for Lightroom, we're going to be taking a look at how we can take this image from being perfectly in focus right the way across the entire focal range and make it look like it was shot with a very shallow depth of field. So we're going to take a look at how we can blur the foreground and how we can blur the background and allow the focus to fall on the actual mid-ground which is the bicycle and the, the flap that's open with the photographs and things on that. So let's take a look at the skills and the tools involved in creating that effect right now. So the first step we need to do is go and deal with the inside of the art gallery. We need to make sure that we can throw that out of focus. So what we're going to do is going to come over to the adjustment brush. We're going to set the sharpness right the way down. We're going to press O on the keyboard to switch it into quick mask mode or to show us the mask that we're actually painting on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start painting inside this area. So as we paint, you'll see we get the red overlay that's telling us this is the area that's going to be affected. And what I need to do at this point is make sure that I don't go too close to the edges where I don't want to have this effect take, take place. So I'm going to roughly go over the main area. If I need to increase the size of my brush, I can use the left and right brackets just to increase that, the left and right square brackets. So once I've got the main part of this masked off, I'm going to come over and choose Auto Mask. And now we're going to use the Auto Mask function to make sure that we don't go over onto the door frame inside the bag and on the wheel itself. So making sure that I keep the little cross at the center of my, my paintbrush inside the area that I want to paint and not to go over anything I don't want covered. I can take my time and make sure that I get everything masked off the way I want it to. So as you can see, as we go down the edge of the door frame, as long as I don't take the little plus symbol in the middle of my paintbrush onto the blue, we're not gonna mask that off. Same goes with the wheel and the tire. Now I take a lot more tire if I was going to do this properly, but just for now, for argument's sake, I'm going to get a rough effect of what I want. There we go. That's looking good. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. So now we should have the sharpness. It's going to be a lot softer. So we're going to put that into, into blue. So as you can see, we've already applied that blue to it. So I'm just going to put the O back on a second and I'm going to come over to the little stand that we've got by here because that's not looking quite right to me. There we go. That's pretty good. That's just any areas that I don't, I don't like. I want to come back in and re-edit. I'm simply pressing O on the keyboard to switch in and out of the mask overlay so I can see exactly what's being affected. Very quick and easy method. So there we go, we've thrown that now into, into blur, so as if we'd shot it with a very shallow depth of field. So it's already helping draw attention to the bicycle and the area that we want, the door, the bicycle. But we've got the problem at the moment now with the step or the flagstones in front of us, they're all perfectly in focus, so we need to take that and throw those out of focus. Now we could use the adjustment brush, but we're not going to because that would take a lot longer than we need to and we wouldn't get the graduated effect that we want. So to finish up with the adjustment brush, we simply come over and click on close. That'll close that down and apply the effect for us. And now we're going to come over to the graduated filter, click, make sure that our sharpness is set where we want. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep the angle at the same angle as these flagstones that are running slightly downhill from right to left. So I'm going to drag from the bottom and I'm going to try to emulate the same angle. Now I'm going to keep this graduated filter just shy of the wheels of the bicycle. So that's looking pretty good. So you can see we've now started to get the graduated effect. We're getting some blur in there, but it's not enough. I want to add more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new and I'm going to put another one in there. So I'm going to do the same again, but I'm going to do a shorter blur this time. Again, trying to emulate the same angle that we've got with the steps or the stones as they're going downhill. And we'll do it one more time and we'll do a very short one. So what I'm doing is I'm effectively stacking these on top of each other to get the effect that I want of the blue. So you can see if we click on done, we now have a much more appealing focused image. Inside the shop is blown out of focus and the same with the foreground so it leads us into the photograph. So that's all there is to create in this shallow depth of field effect. If we come over and take a look at the before and after, so 
This is where it was when we started off, everything in focus. As we've gone through, we've ended up with a final result that gives it a much more sense of appeal. We can now focus on the cycle and we can just take away all the distractions from the gallery and from the flagstones in front of us. Well, I hope you found this useful. I hope it's a technique you can find you can use in your photographs. If you did find it useful, please hit the subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. If you've got any comments or questions or feedback on this video or anything else on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. And until next time, take care.